Hey y'all. Okay. Glamour with Coco is back. So that was fun. Um, recording that video. Like I said, this is my first um makeup tutorial look. So if y'all want to see more makeup looks, y'all please just let me know down in the comments bar and we'll go from there. Like I said. Yeah, get into the look, y'all. Get into this look. <laughs> So if y'all want to see how I got this look, just stay tuned to the video. I'm just filling in my brow with Ruby Kisses Dark Black Brown Liner. Well, not liner. It's a brow pencil. And I'm doing it on both sides. And remember, y'all, they are sisters. Your brows are sisters. They are not twins. So you just want to get them as close as possible to look alike, but they won't ever be twins, okay? And I don't even have any brows like that. I just fill them in, not too dramatic and very natural. And right here, I'm just applying uh, some brow powder to set the brow pencil and to define it even better. To me, they last longer when I do it this way. Now I'm taking the spoolie part of the brow pencil and I'm going to blend it in and blend it out as well. Blend out those harsh lines in the middle. And now I'm gonna take my matte concealer that I got this two few shades lighter than my skin tone. And I'm going to clean it up underneath the brow to make it look more sharp and crisp. And right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that pencil and I'm going to clean up on the top part as well. Mind you, I do not add any more product to the brush. I'm just cleaning it up because I don't want it to be a halo. So you're going to take your finger and you're going to blend it out really, really good. Your finger is like your best tool to use when it comes to blending. And I'm doing the same thing on this side, just cleaning it up on the top. No more added product. Because I do not want a halo brow. And I'm just missing my face with the MAC Studio Fix Plus. And now this is my Juvia's Place palette that I'm going to go in with. And I'm just applying that shadow all over the eyelid. Okay. All over the eyelid. Sorry, y'all, I keep putting the mirror <laughs> in the way. Okay, here I'm going into my Too Faced palette and I'm using that truffle color as a transitional color just to blend out the harsh lines up at the top of that sh first shadow that I use. And the key thing to applying shadow, y'all, is to blend. Make sure you blend really good. And I go back into my Juvia's Place and I'm going to use that orange color right there. And I'm going to also use that as a transitional color, just to add a little bit more color. To tone it down some as well. And 
And now I'll go back into my Too Faced Chocolate Palette, the second edition, and I'm going to, I dipped into the black and I'm just going to define my crease and the outer V of my eye. And I don't want a very deep, deep crease because I am going to blend it out some, but I do want my V part of my eyelid to be very darkened. And then I'm going back and blend it some more. Okay, now I'm going back into the Juvia's Place. And I'm going to grab that little glittery color. Sorry, y'all. I don't remember the names of them. And I'm going to apply that on my eyelid, not the whole eyelid, half of the eyelid. And I'm just going back in to blend. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. It was a gnat. You can't get no gnat in your eye now. <laughs> now I'm adding that same black shadow from the Too Faced Chocolate Palette to, to my waterline. Bottom waterline. And then I'm blending that out. And y'all, I'm also going to add the same uh, burgundy color shadow down to the bottom lid as well, along with the orange transitional color that I use. And I'm blending all of that out at the bottom, on the bottom lid. Y'all, excuse my faces. I can make some really crazy faces when I'm doing my makeup. And I'm not used to doing my makeup sitting down. I'm used to doing my makeup standing up. And now I'm going to line the top part of my eyelid with a liquid liner by Ruby Kisses. And I'm not doing a dramatic uh, wing line because I've already got my V darkened right there. And I'm going to put on lashes anyway, so... It doesn't call for me to do a dramatic wing line. And now I'm taking that black shadow from the Too Faced palette and then I'm going over that liquid liner as well to set it. And then I'm taking my Gold Deposit by MAC and I'm just highlighting my brow bone. And y'all, I'm dragging it down when I apply this because I want to blend it in as well. So I drag it down. To blend and now I'm applying my foundation and it's also by Mac I don't remember which one is this, but I don't like this one. This is not one that I normally get because I normally get the Match Master in the color 9.0 liquid foundation. But the makeup artist who decides to do my makeup that day gave me this color. I don't even know what color it is. It's not even the same liquid foundation that I get. And I really don't like it, but... I'm I'm using it. <laughs> and 
Yeah, and I have a combination of oily and dry skin. So I'm looking very oily in this in this video for some reason, but my face is kind of dry. I think it's the foundation really. It's making it look so oily. And even when I use primers, like my skin still breaks through as far as the oil. Now I'm adding the concealer underneath my eyes and I do this to highlight the parts that I want to uh, bring out when the light hits my face. Yeah, I'm doing the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, the cubic bow under the eye and I do the forehead. I normally don't do my forehead but for the sake of this video I am. And I'm going to mix my beauty blender and I'm going to blend those spots out. I don't normally mix my beauty blender. Tongue twisted right there. I don't normally miss it, but um, I did it for this video and I kind of like the way it came out when I do. I normally use a dry beauty blender, which I have tried misting it before, but uh, but yeah, I'm just blending that out. And then I got my brush that I applied my foundation with. Didn't add any more foundation. I'm just blending out the uh, harsh lines from the concealer. And now I'm adding my banana powder to set that concealer. Every place where I put the concealer, that's where I'm going to set with that powder. I don't really bake but I do let it sit on my face until I apply my uh, contour and then I dust it away. I love the banana powder. And now I'm going to contour with the Shea Moisture Contour. And I'm putting it all on the outline of my face. I am going to contour my nose. Side by my ear and underneath the chin. Yes, bae, that contour. <laughs> and then I'm going to blend it out really good. Mind you, y'all, I have not swept away the banana powder yet. I don't do that until after I contour. Now I'm going to dip that into my NW50 MAC. Studio Fix Powder, and I'm going to dust away the banana powder. And I'm setting my face as well with that powder. I'm setting everything in, blending everything in with the powder. And then I'm just going back in and redefine my contour. I have not added any more product on the brush. Now I'm misting my brush to add my shimmers to my cheekbones. And I don't mix it that much because I really want like a more subtle look. But if you really want that shimmer to pop, you will definitely mix your brush.
And I'm gonna do the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, the cupid's bow, the forehead, and the chin. And again, for the shimmer part, you do this as well. So when the light touches your face, those are the parts that's gonna stand out. And then I'm added to the corner of my eye as well. And yeah, y'all, I did apply my lashes off camera. And I went it back into the Juvia's Place to add some of the shimmery color that I use on my eyelid. I added in the corner of my eyes as well on top of it. And now I'm lining my lips with a Ruby Kisses liner. It's a dual pen which you have a matte lip. Stick at the end. And dark brown liner at the end as well. And you just blend and mush, mush together. <laughs> okay, y'all. This is the finished look. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. So, hey, guys. Comment if you want me to do more videos look. or a certain type like of it. look. Yes, girl. Get into this look, honey. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Till next time. Bye, loves.